Are you thinking of buying or selling a house and using a realtor? Well, did you know that not all realtors are created the same and can play a big role in the buying and selling experience and how good of a time you have? So today, let's talk about hiring a realtor and what you should look for when you hire a realtor. Hi, I'm Chad Scott with EXP Realty. I hope you had a great weekend. Do me a huge favor, guys. Make sure you hit that like button down below. Hit that subscribe button as well. I'm really trying to grow my page here. You'd be doing me a huge favor by hitting those buttons down below so that I can continue to grow my page. How do you know who to choose as a realtor? Do you even really need a realtor when buying or selling a house? Well, let's talk about that. If you're buying a house, I strongly recommend that you use a realtor, simply because a realtor costs you nothing up front. You get all the expertise and the wisdom of a realtor to help you navigate through the buying process. A realtor is on your side. They help you negotiate the deal. They walk you through the contracts. They obviously walk you through the house. They walk you through the process. They have all the contacts for home inspectors, appraisers, loan officers if you need a loan, loan still. All the contacts you could possibly need through the whole buying process. So if you're a buyer, I definitely recommend using a, a realtor just because it costs you nothing out of pocket up front. Now, if you're a seller, you should definitely watch my video about selling FISBO. It has a, a lot of great tips about whether or not you should sell yourself or if you should hire a realtor. Definitely, if you decide to hire a realtor, follow some of these really great tips. But check out the video and decide for yourself whether or not you decide to go with a realtor or sell yourself. Either way, I'm here to help you and walk you through the steps. If you decide to sell yourself, definitely hit me up, help you to the best of my ability without actually working for you. So how do you find a good realtor? Well, first, obviously, you wanna to talk to your friends and family. A lot of your friends and family have probably used a realtor in the past. They probably have a really great realtor that they love and would probably highly recommend to you. That's obviously probably the first choice and probably your best choice is the recommendation of friends and family. Friends and family almost never steer you wrong when they give you a good recommendation. If by chance they don't have any recommendations for you, maybe they've never bought a house before, or maybe they just had a bad experience with a realtor that they've used. Your next best choice is to Google local realtors in your area. When you're doing that though, check out the Google reviews, the Zillow reviews, the Facebook page reviews, the realtor.com reviews, any other reviews that come up, make sure you check them out to see what other people are saying about these realtors. Every realtor that does business, they almost all ask their past clients for reviews. We all love reviews, especially good reviews. Just for this reason, for when people are Googling realtors in their area, we want to have these good reviews so that people choose us when they are looking for realtors. That brings me to my next point. When looking for realtors, in our day and age, 2022, almost every realtor has some kind of online presence. So if you're looking for realtors, whether or not they're recommended by family or friends, they should have some kind of online presence, whether a Facebook page, a Google business page, a YouTube page, or all of these pages a Zillow page, a Realtor.com page, anything. They should have some sort of online presence. If they don't have any online presence at all, this should be a big red flag to you. They should have, at the very least, a company branded website to them. In 2022, you really can't be a modern day realtor without having some kind of online presence. After you found them on, on social media, make sure you stalk them for a couple days. Check out their Facebook page. Check out their personal page. Make sure that they're professional. You know, make sure that they're not putting out pictures every Friday and Saturday night of them out at the bar drinking, doing crazy stuff, doing unprofessional stuff, doing stuff that you wouldn't consider professional or doing stuff that you wouldn't approve of your professional realtor doing. You want to make sure the person you work with is professional and somebody that you would want to be associated with. Remember, you're going to work with this person for the next 60 to 90 days, maybe even longer depending on how long it takes you to find the right house. So you're going to want to work with somebody that you are proud to be associated with and somebody that you're not embarrassed to be seen around town with. Because you're going to be walking into houses with this person. You may run into other homebuyers that you may know while looking at empty houses with this person. So make sure you do your due diligence and check this realtor out. Stalk them on social media, check them out, and make sure that they are 
an okay person and that you can get along with them. Check out some of their listings. How do they advertise their listings? Do they just go put a sign in the front yard and call it a day? Do they put it on the MLS and expect the buyer's agents to just bring buyers through it and sell it for them? Or do they sell it in more modern ways? Do they take a, a video and splash that video all over Facebook like I do and Instagram and put it in front of thousands of buyers so that hopefully the house sells right away? There are a lot of old school agents still that just put the sign in the front yard and just put in the MLS and they expect that to sell the house which in today's market March of 2022 that definitely still works right now because we're still in very much a seller's market however interest rates are definitely going up right now so that will not last for very much longer so how are these agents going to change when we become more of an even market or even more of a buyer's market that they're still selling their listings super quick so that when you as a seller come to them how are you going to sell my house super fast for me what will their answer be I have that answer for you will these other agents have that answer for you make sure you're asking these tough questions when you call these other agents and ask them how are you going to sell my house for me you want to make sure you do all of your homework and you do diligence and all this research on these realtors before you you call them and ask for a face-to-face -face meeting and make sure that you talk to and maybe call a couple realtors before you decide to hire one especially if you're selling selling your house is a big decision your house is probably your biggest asset that you have that you're going to sell so make sure that you're talking to a couple different realtors you know it's not only about the commission you're paying it's about the kind of marketing that they're doing how fast they're going to sell your house the way they're going to market your house whether or not they're going to be responsive to you just a list of other questions that you may have for them i obviously do these videos to generate business for myself however i'm not the right agent for everybody i'm not a pushy realtor when we walk into a house with my buyers i'm not going to push you to buy that house right away with my seller i'm not going to push you to select an, an offer that i think is the best offer i'm going to present these offers to you and tell you the pros and cons of each offer. I'm not demanding. I don't work 24 seven. My clients probably will not get me on the phone after nine o'clock at night because I'm with my family then. That's my time with my family. You probably won't get me on the phone before seven or eight o'clock in the morning because that's still my time with my family. I don't ever lie to my clients. I tell them the truth. I tell them the way it is. Even if they don't like the way that it is, even if I know that the truth is gonna hurt their feelings, I still tell them the truth the way that it is so there are some sellers and buyers that i just don't work with there are some buyers and some sellers that i've had to say before you know what mr seller or mr buyer we're just not getting along we don't seem to mesh very well together i think we're not to part ways i had this other agent that i think will work very well with you i want to put you two together and i wish you the best of luck that has happened to me a couple times before before you commit to working with anyone just make sure you do a little bit of research on that realtor on how they work how they market everything thing on just them in general make sure you're gonna like them because like i said before you're gonna spend the next at least 30 days with them between the time that your offer gets accepted until the time you close if you're financing maybe a little bit shorter if you're paying cash for the deal at least an extended period of time you're gonna have to deal with this person and remember that if you start working with a realtor if for whatever reason you guys aren't getting along you can always fire that realtor for whatever reason if you guys aren't getting along for some reason you can fire them before you're under contract leave me a comment down below and let me know if you've tried any of these any of these tips below to screen any realtors any of these stalking online if you've liked any facebook business pages for any realtors if you have followed anybody before comment below let me know if you've tried any of these tips before and how well they've worked for you thank you so much for watching don't forget to hit that like button down below as well as uh, the subscribe button please like and share this video have a great week and i'll see you back here next monday